All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Ward, and welcome back to another transfers video, guys. Before we get into the transfer news coming out of Ellen Road, be sure to smash a like. Can we smash 100 likes on this video? And also subscribe if you're new. We're, we're gaining subscribers recently, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. And also uh, comment the discussions we have today, your thoughts and everything. I'll give you guys a couple of questions to answer in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's get in to the Leeds United transfer news. Obviously, I've got my sources down here. No, not ketchup. Uh, just... Uh, anyway, uh, the first bit of news is coming out of Ellen Road is Legion Arts are reportedly on the trail of Lazio striker Vedat Marishi or Mariki, uh, a six foot four Kosovan. Is that you say it? Kosova? Kosovan? Uh, pre uh, previously tracked by Spurs. Uh, this is an Italian report. Leeds, um, Leeds have registered their interest in the last few hours over a potential loan swoop. And uh, yeah, basically, I've, I've looked into him. He, he's six foot four. He's big unit. Obviously, we need a striker. It's a loan deal. Um, he joined. He was at Fernabache. He got thirty two goals in two seasons. Over two seasons there, he joined Lazio for around twenty million euros. Hasn't had a lot of game time, or he has actually, in fairness. But he's only scored like two or three goals in about thirty four games. So is this a striker we really need? He normally plays in that number ten when uh, Immobile, oh, Immobile, sorry for um. Uh, for Lazio is injured or he's not playing. He normally plays in the centre forward role, feeds into feet and and plays like that. That's how he does play. Obviously, six foot four, he's not going to be running the wings. Um, but the lack of goals at Lazio has not been good for him, and he, he looked like he wants to get away. A bit of a loan swoop, which could be nice. Could I mean, I the the goal record is even worse than Tyler Roberts's. So do we necessarily want that at the club? I don't know. Maybe are we just now looking at players and thinking? They'll do. Are we not thinking, oh, yeah, I want we want them? I, I'm not 100% sure. He looks okay. I've looked at highlights. If you want to look at highlights after this, uh, Vedit Marishi highlights. He looks an okay player, but I, I don't know if he'll fit in Bielsa's system or not. I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah, apparently it's reported that we're in talks with him. Uh, a lot of interest. Hull were looking at him. So uh, I don't know how good he's going to be. Uh, but, yeah, that's from uh, pr uh, multiple, sorry, Italian reports and also James Marshman from Twitter um yeah it's a it's going to be a loan offer if anything happens but the thing is with loan players so if he does turn into a goal scorer you fall in love and you don't necessarily have them like we know what happened to Ben White obviously he's a bit of a knob now but Ben White we fell in love with him and uh yeah but the thing is that why the reason we're going for loans is reports have come out literally uh, about an hour ago, as the time I am recording, that Leeds are close to their FFP limit, the financial fair play limit, and now only likely to make loan signings this month. This is because Leeds have brought in a lot of players in recent times and our outgoings haven't been a lot. I, I can't really remember the last time we sold a player to someone who was worth of any value. Maybe Chris Wood? Because Pablo went on the free. Alioski... I don't know if we got any money from him in the end. I think his contract ran out when he, he was on a free, wasn't he? And Berardi, obviously, he's not playing. Uh, so I can't really remember the last time we sold someone. If you guys let me know in the comments, I, I literally can't really remember. Of value, anyway. Ronaldo Vieira? You know, the, these type of players. So apparently Leeds are close to their financial fair play limit. Some sources are saying this is not right. Some sources are saying it is. But it kind of makes sense if you read into it properly. Um but apparently we still want a number six and a number eight, uh, a defensive midfielder and an attacking midfielder, a placement for Calvin and uh, obviously a backup for like a click or a Dallas in that midfield as well. Actually, more actually our Pablo replacement that we've never had. So if that's true, maybe that loan signing of uh, Fadat Marishi makes sense. Maybe that is the first loan offer that's going to come in. It's a striker. He's six foot four. He's big. To be fair, Dan James doesn't really work up front in this system and he's a small little lad so maybe a big six foot four player will but obviously honestly sorry his stats don't really make me go yeah I want him I want him but he looks a decent player watch some highlights of him Vedat Marishi Fernabache slash Lazio highlights right the next bit of news we are going to talk about is from Fabrizio Romano very reliable journalist uh, over on Twitter says Cody Drama will undergo his medical tomorrow and that it will be announced as a new Cardiff City player. Agreement completed with Leeds confirmed straight loan until June and no buy option included. Leeds see him having a big future um, in the next few years at Ellen Road. And we all know that. What is going on there? Why are we selling players? 
our injury list, I'm going to read that out soon. Our injury list is 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 scary. Okay, so he was interested by uh, Cardiff and Swansea, and I don't think we're going to sell to Swansea now after the whole Dan James debacle. Um, but yeah, they put it on stall for a couple of days, and now they've said, yeah, he'll undergo his medical tomorrow. He, he's ready to go. I don't mind the fact that Cody Drama needs football. I know that because personally, every time I've watched him come on, I, I haven't thought he looks settled enough. I think he needs more game time uh, in like consistently. Obviously, under 23 is a lot different to the championship. So I hopefully he does well at Cardiff because he is a fantastic player. But at the moment, why? We can't get rid of squad depth when we don't have any. I have no clue what this transfer is. I, I get this. It might be to do with this financial fair play. But again, we're not selling him. We're putting him out on loan. So... If we were going to get rid of him outright, then fair enough. I mean, I wouldn't want that. I'd be an uprage, uh, an outroar, sorry about that. But I don't get what, what this is, unless we're planning on bringing in loads of loan signings, but then you've got the financial fair play, and then you can only have a certain amount of loan signings in a squad. So I have no clue what, what is going on. Obviously, I get this is always going to be on the cards that you need the game time. Same as Sam Greenwood. Um, he looks like he might be going out on loan before the end of the January transfer window as well. But... I just don't know what, what we're playing at. Um, Graham Smythe has said, or Smith, however you want to say it, um, has talked about transfers in the last couple of days. And apparently all he said is they're active, things are progressing, we're told. Now, for a fan's point of view, that doesn't put us in any any other situation. Do you know what I mean? Like, do they realise that I know I'm not going to be one of the fans that are like, why do we not have a sign? I know signings take time. It's not FIFA. I do get that. But we're in the 11th of January right now, and we need some signings. And obviously, Bielsa's regime in training, you need to, you can't just chuck a six foot four bloke into running all the time because he, he might not be doing that. Do you know what I mean? We need, we, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to read out our injury, uh, injury list, sorry, for Leeds United this weekend against West Ham. Again, obviously, uh, we did lose in the FA Cup. I watched the game. I thought there was positives there, in fairness. I, I really did. I thought the goals were silly to give away. Obviously, the VAR one, I, won't even get into that. I was furious about that. And obviously, we've tried to push for a goal and they've hit us on the counter-attack. And Bowen's a fantastic player. But we are missing Lorente through suspension, Roberts through a calf injury, Strook uh, foot injury, Geldhart ankle injury, Bamford hip injury again. Don't know what's going on with him at the moment. Made out of chocolate, that bloke. Uh, Rodrigo with his foot injury, Cooper hamstring, Shackleton ankle, Phillips hamstring, Cresswell shoulder, Greenwood new injury, Furpo says he's fine, but obviously he... Kind of got like concussed at the weekend. He felt a bit dizzy. He was going like that a lot, saying that he was a bit blurry. Couldn't really see what's going on. But yeah, it's it's getting a bit like, is that is there something going on there? Or are we just totally unlucky? Is Bielsa's training getting a bit too hard? Or are we just unlucky? Do we just have a small squad? So these are bound to get injured. Like you don't see a lot of like Spurs, Man United and all that going, oh, our under 23s are injured. But we have to use our under 23s. And that's why we see that they are getting injured. Do you know, do you understand what I mean by that? But yeah, um, I, I have no clue what's going to go on with Leeds in the next few days. The next few days have got to be big ones. They really do. They really have to for Leeds United. Um, we need to bring in some players. If it's loan signings, I'm hoping we get uh, more news on the uh, financial fair play. Um, what's going on? Can we spend? Are we just loan deals? Is uh, the Lazio striker coming in? It looks like Cody Drum will go. I'm going to the game on Sunday against West Ham and I'm not very confident at all for it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what, what's going on. But just to round it all up, Leeds United are reportedly on the trail of Lazio striker Vedat Marishi, the six foot four uh, Lazio striker. Go check him out on YouTube. Some highlights of him. Scored some good goals in fairness to him. He could fit in nicely in the team, but... I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It's from an Italian report. They were the one who's reported Nandes this whole time, and that doesn't look like it's going to happen at all. Uh, Leeds apparently close to the FFP limit. Yeah, we spoke about that. Cody Drama will undergo his medical. A long injury list. Apparently things are progressing, but that is just Leeds United. Another day of nonsense coming out of Ellen Road. What needs to happen? Let me know in the comments down below. You guys have been excellent. I've been Ollie Ward. Can we smash 100 likes on this transfer video if you are enjoying the series? And yeah, subscribe if you're new. I've been Ollie Ward, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.